is a patient of ours that is going to be getting a phase one orthodontic treatment. She basically has a lot of crowding of her front teeth and her upper jaw is really, really narrow. So we don't actually have enough room for all the permanent teeth to come in. Most importantly, the upper canines, which tend to get stuck on the roof of the mouth or come sticking out a lot if they don't have enough room. So what we're doing for her is we're going to make her something called a palatal expander. An expander is something that will go in on the roof of the mouth, is hooked to the very back molars, and it has a little key that you can turn and it widens out the top jaw. By widening out the top jaw, we're going to in turn give her a broader arch form, which gives her obviously a nicer smile, but in turn we're going to make more room for all of these top front teeth to get lined up and more room for those upper permanent canines to fit when that time comes around. Usually the expander is in for, for six months total, but you're only actively turning the expander between one and three weeks. Once we get everything straightened out and widened out, some patients, not all, will also require some braces on these upper front permanent teeth to help straighten them out and also make more room for those permanent canines to come in. They go around each molar. Once we fit the bands, we take impressions of her teeth, which are prints of her teeth. We send those impressions with, along with the bands to the lab and we have them sent out to have her appliance made especially just for her. expander here and it's easiest if she's leaned all the way back or at home if you're on the bed leaning your head over the edge of the bed. So I'll bring you back a little bit more. So the Palo expander works like a belt. It has two holes. So when you make a full turn, the next hole will pop up at the top. She's had her expander. She has done 14 turns, so she's done two weeks worth of turning. And as you can smile, you can see that Alexa has started to get a space between her two front teeth. That is very normal. As we expand the upper jaw, the upper jaw is two pieces of bone that are going to be widening apart. So it's very common to get that space between the two front teeth. We actually love to see that space. She may not love it, but we love it. <laughs> I promise the space will close on its own as soon as we stop turning, as long as you don't put anything in there, your finger, your tongue, your pencil, or anything like that. So today we're just going to be checking to see if Alexa and her mother got all the turns in properly. So I'm gonna have you lean back and open really wide. Perfect, and I'm going to have you bite together to see if the upper jaw is wide enough. And it is, so success. So Alexa does not have to turn her expander anymore, but it is going to stay in her mouth for at least six months to kind of stabilize everything. 
today is just our three month checkup for Alexa. We're just checking to see how the expander's holding up. Um, basically, I look in there, um, take a look, bite together for me. And I can see that her upper jaw is still wider than her lower jaw, and it's still a little overcorrected right now. That's exactly where I want it to be, so today we're just checking. I'm letting her know everything looks good. We're gonna continue to follow her for another three months. After the next three months, she'll have had her expander in for six months. So today we're actually going to remove Alexa's palatal expander. She's had it in for eight months. We like to leave them in a minimum of six months, usually around six to nine months. Um, so we're gonna have it removed today. We'll still have her wear a little retainer at nighttime just to hold everything until some of the more, more of the permanent teeth come in. But smile big for us. You can see open wide that her expander really widened the top jaw, made a lot more room for all the permanent teeth to fit in the back and look to the front. No braces, but she actually had a little bit of straightening of those front teeth just from making a little bit more room from, for them. Obviously, we will straighten her front teeth when she's ready for her second phase or her full phase of braces. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. All right, Alexa, as I remove your expander, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure on each side, okay? I'm gonna use an instrument. I'm gonna pull down a little bit on this side, then a little bit on this side, and then I'll pull the whole thing out, okay? So you will feel some pressure, and all I need from you is to open as wide as you can, okay? Beautiful, <laughs> lean way back. Today we are going to be inserting Alexa's retainer. Uh, what we're going to be doing is holding the upper jaw. Remember we widened the upper jaw with the expander and we held it for quite a while. So the tendency for it to relapse is going to be very rare. However, we want to be extra safe. So she's going to wear this retainer only when she's sleeping at nighttime just to help hold everything that we gained with the expander. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and slide her yellow sparkly retainer in there. It's going to fit up over the top teeth and push up in the back, and that is her retainer. Cute! You like it? Mm-hmm. All right.